Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to compress a video file on your Mac. So here I am and this is the video file I'm working with. You can see the file size is 1.67 gigabytes. It actually is a 4K video and it's about 4 minutes long. So it's a fairly big file to work with. Now the tool we're going to be using to compress this, and this is the best tool out there, is actually called Handbrake. It's one of the easiest compressing tools to use for your videos and what I love about it is it's free, it doesn't slow down your Mac, it's not very big, and it's just simple to use. So what we're going to do is, we're going to head in and download Handbrake. If you haven't done so already, you can do it on all sorts of computers. In my case, I'm just using it for the Mac. And then we're going to open up Handbrake, and it looks a little bit like this. Now what we want to do is, we want to open our source file that we're going to be compressing. So I'm going to go in and find it. And I'll find it in here, it's a few layers deep. And you can see there it is, the 1.67. So I'm going to open this up and you can see that handbrake is going to start pulling it in so that we can compress it. Now this might look complicated, but let me walk you through it so it makes sense. So we're on the summary page here and you can see we've got some presets. If you want to compress this for a certain device or something, this would be really good. I'm going to leave it on fast 1080p 30 because that's what I want it to be. I want to compress it from 4K to 1080p, but I also want to compress the video quality as well, so that would be a lot smaller. Now we've got some options here. We want to hit web optimized because this is actually going to optimize it for the web and compress it further. We want to align the AV start and we don't need to hit the iPod 5G option. Now you can see down the bottom here what's going to be saved as the file name. I might just add at the end of that compressed file so that I know where it's going to be. I know what's going to be called. And I can go to the right here and hit browse to adjust where it's going to save. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop here and hit choose. Now we've got a few options in here, but the one we really want to look at is one, the dimensions. So in this case, it's going to be 1080p because I want to compress it. But we actually want to go to the video area to have a look at the video settings. Now, you can see we have options of peak frame rate or constant frame rate. I like to use constant frame rate because that is what's being um, output in the video. I like the frame rate to be the same as the source because that keeps it the same. And we have this quality over here that we can adjust. If you drag it to the left, you're going to have a lower quality, more compressed video. If you drag to the right, the video won't be compressed at all. So I like to bring it up to around 40 because that means we're going to get quite a good compression. Now we also have an encoder speed down here. I recommend dragging a little bit to the right to have a slower speed. This is going to slow down your speed to compress it obviously and in a smaller file that doesn't really matter but in a bigger file it will add a couple of minutes but the good thing is you will get a better compressed video. So that's pretty much all I would touch on this video. We can head back to the summary page and if we're happy with all the settings and we've made sure we're saving it in the right spot with a good title, we can then hit start. Now you'll see that handbrake is going to go to work and start compressing it. And it's even going to give you a little percentage down here in the bottom. So you can see in just a few seconds, it's only done 1%. So this video might take me two, two minutes to do. So I'm going to check back in afterwards actually and you can see they're giving me an estimated time so i'm going to check back in once this is done but the good thing is you can go make a coffee have some food while you wait for your video to encode now handbrake is finished compressing the file and you can see it here on the desktop and it's come out as 320 megabytes which is really really good because when we consider that the original file was not this folder the original file was 1.67 gigabytes. We've made a massive difference and we've compressed it down by almost an eighth, which is really, really good. So I highly recommend you guys play around with, ben um, not benchmark, <laughs> handbrake and see what results you can get. Have a great day, guys. I'll speak to you next time. Ciao, ciao.